Welcome. I'm Mark and thanks for watching Mark Exploring New Stuff. Today I'm real excited about a new product that I received after having waited four months for it to be in stock. Today I'm proud to say after ordering it in April of 2023 we have finally received the Rode Wireless 2 charging case as produced by Rode. If I open up the top here, you see we're, we're able to hold in it the two wireless transmitters as well as one receiver. Now, in my particular case, we were able to squeeze it in with the two wind muffs on top of the transmitters. And you see right next to it, I'm able to coil up a 3.5 connector to connect the receiver to the camera. It all fits in nice and neat. And with a tight, tight close to it, zips up and it's a neat traveling pack. Uh, easy to charge, uh, the charging features work great. Uh, I think it charged up in a couple hours. It charges the, uh, the Rode Wireless Go and then stops charging it when the Rode Wireless Go connectors are, are fully charged. So it's a neat product. One recommendation that I would have made to Rode is you could have left a little extra room in the top, maybe a little pouch where we could have put the wind muffs and the 3.5 millimeter connector cable that you need. The, what I've been using before was a product by ZG Sin. Uh, it's a product that, that a lot of people have been using to charge the Rode Wireless Go. You see it's a little larger in size when you compare it to the uh, Rode Wireless Go product. Uh, the thing that I didn't care for it was the top. You'd be able to throw this in a knapsack or a backpack, but the top sometimes would open and things would fall out. A couple other features that annoyed me of that this took forever to charge. I mean, again, this is a uh, this is a charger for the two transmitters as well as one receiver. But in charging this up, it would take forever, hours and hours and hours. I don't think I ever got it to the point where this shut off from charging. The second thing is this would constantly charge the uh, the transmitters and receivers that were in the case. Uh, it never shut off when the Rode Wireless Go was fully charged. So basically, what you'd have to do is shut off. The product itself and then next time when you want it out your go product wouldn't necessarily be fully charged you'd have to press and then charge it uh to to bring it back up to full power again so i guess i would characterize this as a uh, uh, battery charging intelligence problem, I, I guess, it, in holding a charge and in delivering a charge. The second thing is this product had a second iteration. This is the oval design, the rectangular design of this, uh, of this product cost $60. This was $50. The road product, $79. But again, if you're looking for a product that's designed well, that has a zipper enclosure that'll keep your products in, in play, that has a battery that will charge in a reasonable amount of time and has some intelligent features in it that won't overcharge your uh, Rode Wireless Go uh, uh, tools, this is the product for you. I would recommend staying away. This product just didn't live up to my expectations. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching Mark Exploring New Stuff. If you will, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And by all means, subscribe so that you don't miss future episodes. Thanks and have a great day.